if you have kids or mm. if you have other family members, whatever, you know, it's important to stay calm. And while, uh, so, so it might, it might be helpful to have board games, mm. you know, and you're playing, oh, you're having fun playing Monopoly with your kids, uh, by candlelight, whatever. And, uh, that way they're not brought into any kind, you don't want hysteria, you don't want anxiety ruling in your house. Yeah. You want there to be calm decisions. And so, uh, a little bit of, okay, we're in our safe room and we're going to, we're going to have fun to pass the time. It's okay. Yeah. And it's good. Crayons, yeah, coloring, it, depending on the age of your kids, obviously. Right. But yeah, board games. We played Sorry over and over when <laughs> Ivan hit because we didn't have power for like four or five days. So right. we were so sick of that game, but it kept us busy. It kept us oh. doing something, right. and it was actually kind of a neat time. As weird as that sounds, because you do yeah. you do bond a little differently during yes. those situations. Uh -huh. But yeah, have some books to read. Have some things that don't require electricity or internet access, because that could be a reality. You need mm -hmm. to pass a large yeah. amount of time, even if it's not the immediate passage of the hurricane. The recovery after how long are you without power is right. it going to be a day or a week or a month like what's what's the situation mm -hmm. going to be like for those kind of things so it's good to kind of plan ahead so hunker down there's a storm going uh if you're, we, you're if we could remove that phrase it would be great everybody <laughs> hunker down is like a rally cry oh, no. here on the golf cruise everybody <laughs> right. hunkered down right uh. so so um but you're riding out this storm there's a lot of wind going on maybe you have uh hurricane shutters and but you you know there is danger outside and it's swirling about your house you're keeping the kids calm with this but inside there might be a little bit of anxiety where do you suggest turning for peace when it comes to keeping yourself calm and uh, peaceful man that, that's 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 a, a difficult question uh, obviously depending on your you know, your personal situation and, and where you are the the in a, in a hurricane or emergency situation, the best yeah. advice I give for that is be prepared ahead of time. If you have a plan mm -hmm. in place, yeah. if you have supplies, if you've walked through this and thought through this and right. planned this yeah. and talked about it right. with your family, your friends, those around, if you've done all that ahead of time and you're kind of in the part now where it's happening, you got to rest in your preparation knowing that we've got water and food and whatever the medications we need and cash and fuel in the generator, those kind of things. You've got yeah. all that in place. You just kind of have to wait. If it's getting serious, and if it, I mean, look, weather is 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 strong. It's a yes. it's a powerful force. Right. Mm -hmm. If you're in a situation where it's escalated more than you thought it would, again, I, you know, I hesitate to say too much. You know, for me personally, say whatever you want. I, I, I rely on my faith. I mean, for that situation, right. it's a it's a situation where praying is certainly, yeah, in my opinion, something worthwhile and valuable. You know, right. You've got to you've got to do something to keep yourself calm for those around you, and hopefully mm -hmm. there is, there's a faith or something that you have personally where you can connect to. Because if you find yourself in an emergency situation, people are going to look to you to have mm -hmm. answers or to be that calming force. Yeah. Especially if you have right. kids, right. if you have yeah. older parents or grandparents around you, you're going to need to be the someone who can take up. So whatever it takes, take the deep breath. You know, trust in your preparation or, or trust in God to, to know that yeah. hey, look, we're going to get through this, and you. And you, even if you don't believe it totally, you've got to be able to willing to, to give that to others around you so they can kind of feed off your strength and know that we're going to get through this. It's a temporary situation, yeah. but hurricanes can last for hours and hours as they move through, and it's not really mm -hmm. safe until that moves clearly out of the area. Jim, thank you so much yeah, for contributing to preparing your home for the hurricane. Uh, thank you for watching, uh, preparing your home for the hurricane, and we wish you well.